Welcome to Real Physics. Again and again, I talk about Planck's quantum of action because I think it's the most mysterious constant of nature and we don't have a good explanation why we need that constant at all for physics. So what comes to mind is I'd like to explain constants of nature in a purely mathematical way. And if you think about mathematical structures, then you have these non commutativity in say the rotations in three-dimensional space i give you an example you rotate this clockwise and clockwise in this direction and the result is different if you rotate it first in this direction and then in this direction clockwise the question is could that constant h arise from that non-commutativity in that case of course our physical reality would be strongly related to the rotations in three-dimensional space or even more likely in the double cover of it that's the unit quaternions which are also related to SU2 or the three-dimensional unit sphere but in less mathematical terms just imagine the rotations in three-dimensional space and double it so still I think there must be something to that idea because it's also very intuitive that you have this doubling of states by the spin however one thing that is not explained is the quantization because even if you think about well there is a mathematical structure say the unit quaternions and they have this non-commutativity in their algebra it doesn't explain the fact of quantization and if you think about heisenberg's uncertainty relation the product of two quantities which yield the unit of an action that is meters times newton times meters times seconds these two quantities are always related in the sense that for example if you have a minimum uncertainty in time you have a maximum uncertainty in energy and so on and also position and momentum are related and interestingly if you consider a third product which is angular momentum and angle which evidently also has the unit of an angular momentum because angle has no physical unit and then you think about how well, how do I measure the angular momentum? There is evidently a maximum uncertainty, which is 2 pi. You can't have larger uncertainty in measuring a direction. And that maximum uncertainty in angle would correspond to then the minimum uncertainty in angular momentum. This third aspect of Heisenberg's uncertainty relation, I think, is less considered. But anyway, the basic problem I want to come back is you have on the one hand side this quantization and on the other hand the non-commutativity and they're not necessarily related. So at the very end we still have to give the answer to the very existence of H, why physics cannot exist without it. And yeah, I think this is maybe the big mystery of physics. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And if you're interested in fundamental questions, subscribe to this channel.